Hey guys, and welcome back to yet another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how to use the Aces LUT to fix the default Substance Painter viewport in order to get a perfect match with the Unreal Engine 4 viewport. Now, before we get started, we're going to be taking a look at exactly what the problem is with the Substance Painter viewport right now, and why we should be doing this fix, even if you're not using Unreal at all. So, let's get started. Now, as you can see, I've got, uh, I've got some, uh, a model right here with some textures on it, and the first thing that comes to mind is the viewport in Something Painter is totally linear. It's in linear space to begin with. Now, Unreal Engine is has an ACES color space workflow. So the viewport in Unreal is going to be in ACES, and the viewport in Something Painter is completely linear. Now, what I mean by this is you'll see, especially in the highlight section, let's zoom in right here where we have some highlights, see? And first off, right away, you can kind of see that the highlights are totally blown out. They're totally clipped. You don't get any detail there. So let's get, let's get even more of a glancing angle here. And you can see this whole area here is completely clipped. There's no detail there. And that is not good because you're going to be compensating for this. You're going to be adjusting your textures so that you do see some detail there. And then when you bring it into Unreal, it's going to look completely different. Now, this is where the Aces LUT comes into place. And this is going to help you improve, get a much better result in Southern Painter. And not only that, you're going to be getting a perfect one-to-one -one match with between Southern Painter and your Unreal 4 viewport. So this is how you do it. So the first thing you want to do is we're going to be able to download on our station. You're going to want to download the Aces LUT for Southern Painter. So this can, I'm going to include this link in the description below. Now on the ArtStation page, you'll see a lot of other screenshots and comparisons to show you exactly what the LUT is doing and how it compares between Substance Painter and Unreal. So I'll be showing you guys an example of how it looks myself in this video, but if you need a little bit of reassurance, there's, there's a lot of screenshots here to prove that it does what it does. Uh, this right here is basically just a toe mapper. It, it's a LUT that you apply in Substance Painter, and this will essentially gives you much, much better results in Southern Painter. It's a lot easier to work with. You get much better highlights. So go ahead and download that first and foremost. Now, once it's downloaded, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the File button up here, go to Import Resources, click on Add Resources, and when a window pops up, you're going to go find both in, in the folder that you just downloaded from ArtStation or Gumroad, you're going to click import both the ACES UE4 log and the ACES standard log. Import both of these. Click open. Now, you're going to want to click on undefined and set this to color LUT to both of them. Import your resources to, I'm going to import it to my current session, or actually I'm going to import it to my shelf. You hit import. Now, once they're imported, you'll see right away, you know, you know what, what do you do with this LUT? So you're going to want to go to up here into display setting. There's going to be a little button right here, the second one from the top. Click on that. Activate post effects. Click on this. On the tone mapping tab, click on little arrow. Make sure that tone mapping is checked. Function is set to log. Okay. Yes, your screen's going to get darker. This is normal. Now scroll all the way to the bottom and you're going to see activate color profile. Click on this. Now it's going to get even darker. Click on profile and you're going to choose ACES UE4 log. Now everything is kind of brighter, makes more sense. You'll see right away that it's already much more contrasty. There's much more punch in there. Um, but the best thing is, look at our highlights now. Know how our highlights have all the detail. Everything is there. Even at the most glancing angles, you see that, hey, look, there is detail in there. Let me zoom in even more and you'll see... Whereas before, if I uncheck this and uncheck this, you'll see it's totally clipped. There is no detail here. So this is how we get the Aces LUT activated. And, you know, just doing it before and after, you can see right away, everything just looks a lot better, especially in the highlights. So by default, it's set to linear, and linear is not really a great color space to be working in. It doesn't really look good. Um, and if you're doing 3D work, chances are your workflow revolves around the Aces color space workflow. So if you're working in Painter, you really should be using this ACES LUT, even if you're not working in Unreal. Now, another major benefit of this, actually the main benefit of this is once you have this LUT on, 
the results you're going to get in Unreal Engine are going to be a perfect match. Have you ever had the issue where you import your textures from something painter, you bring them into Unreal, and it look completely different? That's why. This fixes that issue. So let's go ahead and open this same model into Unreal with the same textures, and we'll do a comparison between the two, and you'll see the results are pretty much exactly the same. So I have Unreal here on the right, and I've got Southern Painter here on the left. Now, of course, as you can see right now, there's already a little bit of difference right now. The main reason for that is because by default in the Unreal viewport as of 4.26, you've got ray tracing, you've got reflections, and you've got shadows in here, whereas Southern Painter does not have any of those features. So in order to troubleshoot this and remove any kind of discrepancy between the two, I'm going to go ahead and set Unreal to Path Tracing. So if you go to the little bit tab up here and you click Path Tracing, and in Southern Painter, I'm going to set this to, I'm going to open the iRay renderer. So both of these are path tracers. Therefore, the results, you're going to be factoring out any kind of screen space effects or any kind of ray tracing effects that one may have and the other may not. So we're going to make sure that, you know, both our renderers are both path traced to remove any kind of inconsistencies. So as you can see right now, I've got the iRay renderer on and the results are pretty much exactly the same. Now, iRay is a little bit noisier, but you can see the colors, the highlights, everything just matches and looks pretty much the same. Like I said, there's a few differences that have to do more with more to do with the, you know, the depth of field, the, the, the angle might be slightly different, but for the most part, this is, I'm, I'm satisfied with these results. So seeing this right here, I'm like, yep, okay, this looks pretty much the same. There's no wild discrepancy between the two. This Having this ACES workflow makes things so much easier if you're working with, you know, in Unreal, because what you see in Painter is what you're going to get in Unreal. Just to explain a little bit what I've done here in Unreal is I went ahead and got an HDRI from HDRI Haven, uh, just to make sure that, you know, the HDRI, the lighting is exactly the same in both scenes. I went ahead and imported that HDRI both in Painter and in Unreal. In Unreal, I've used the HDRI backdrop light in order to get the same kind of lighting that Painter has. So both these scenes are using the exact same HDRI mapping with the exact same exposure settings. And that's really all I have in Unreal right now. It's just one light, that HDRI backdrop, and that's it, nothing else. So that's it, folks. It's as simple as that. Use that ACES LUT. It is a game changer. It really makes things a lot easier for me. Um, it, it's definitely been a, a huge improvement uh, to my texturing workflow in something Painter. So guys, as always, if you have any questions whatsoever, or if you have any suggestions for future videos, something you would like me to cover, leave a comment down below. I'll get right back to you as soon as I can. I am completely open to suggestions. Once again, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week.